Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. Yes, yes. As you guys can see by the title of today's video, I will be doing a very, very, very highly requested, long awaited summer fragrance collection. All my fragrance baddies that have been following me since I made my first fragrance video, y'all have been hounding me to make another fragrance video as far as all the fragrances that I've been wearing and purchasing for the summer. And I got y'all. Y'all knew I had y'all. Y'all knew. Because y'all knew I was going to go out and buy more perfume and spend my money and go broke just to make a video for y'all nah <laughs> not just to make a video for y'all but y'all know like i'm such i'm a perfume lover now i love me some perfume y'all like i'm obsessed like at this point like it's not even like it's a hobby it's a healthy hobby it's an outlet it's a hobby that makes me smell good so it benefits me at the end of the day so and y'all love it so i'm happy and i'm here to share it with you guys so with this video i won't be categorizing it as far as like daytime nighttime and stuff like that i'm just gonna go in order from when each fragrance was purchased because that's like the best i can categorize them i guess like you know from oldest to newest and we just gonna hop right in so the first fragrance is um tori birch bell azul and you guys have seen this already you guys saw it in my luxury fragrance collection and it's just a rollerball um but i chose to add this to the video because it's part of my summer like collection this is definitely a summer scent and i got it in the beginning of summer so i love her she is perfect because it's a rollerball and little like fun fact guys <laughs> little some tea for y'all these rollerballs actually probably last longer or as long as like actual sprays because when you think about sprays you're you spray them all over with a rollerball you're literally rolling you know so like a little bit of product comes out you roll it on your wrist you roll it on your other wrist you do your collarbone back of your neck and it's like barely any product being rolled out and this still looks very much full like when i first purchased it so that's a fun fact for y'all so if y'all don't want to break the bank and get 300 dollars, 150 dollars fragrances get the rollerball because the rollerball is usually like 30 dollars. so yeah so this fragrance just gives me summer like you guys know i'm really bad at explaining fragrances so i'm gonna just read y'all the notes so the top note of this fragrance is bergamot and if you guys know me y'all know i love bergamot bergamot is probably my favorite note and i feel like that's what really attracted me to this scent because when it was purchased my friend purchased it for me while she was out because she was gonna get it for herself but while it was purchased i didn't know how it smelled but i just knew since the top note was bergamot i would like it so that's a little fun fact. The middle notes are Neroli and Peony and the base notes are Cedar and Vetiver and y'all it's just so like clean but sophisticated and sexy. It definitely puts you on a beach or it puts you on a yacht. That's what I get from it. I get like somewhere on an island sipping a coconut on the beach or definitely on somebody's yacht party with a rich millionaire. Like that's what I get from this fragrance. The next fragrance in my collection is Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up. And this fragrance is definitely very different for me. Very, very different. Um, this was another blind buy. Again, um, same friend went to y'all know y'all know my friend Tanasia. She <laughs> she was at Marshall's one day, and that's another fun fact. Get your fragrances from Marshall's, they will be discounted tremendously. So she was at Marshall's and she was picking up fragrances. And I wanted to try a Juliet has a gun um fragrance. I don't really like the Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I'm just not a fan. Like it's okay, you know, to each his own, but I'm just not a fan. So I wanted to try this, and I actually do really love this it's definitely 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 very mature compared to all of my other fragrances but it's not old lady it doesn't give you uh, old lady stinky like white diamond your grandma perfume it doesn't give you that it just gives mature sophisticated i got money like you smell like money like a rich lady at brunch money like the 
money <laughs> so the top notes of this fragrance are vanilla absolute amorous and jasmine and i think i really wanted this because of the vanilla I, I love vanilla scents so i was like i'm curious to see how they incorporate the vanilla into this it's not a very sweet and overpowering vanilla but like this is a very musky scent so the vanilla kind of mellows out the musk and it's like it's done perfectly the middle notes are sandalwood coconut milk overs fruit and jasmine and i was curious about the coconut milk too because i never had a fragrance with a coconut milk note but the coconut milk i feel like it makes it it gives it a very different i feel like it helps to make it a very unique scent and the base notes are ios e super and brett and musk malo so i definitely love this scent catch me at the nearest bottomless mimosa brunch near you wearing this scent <laughs> because i will be there the next fragrance in my collection is gucci flora and this is the gorgeous gardenia lavender and it's limited edition guys and i had to get it because it was limited edition like i just couldn't pass it up but it smells so good again it's a very sophisticated sexy scent not grandma e just sophisticated grown woman like grown woman with money y'all know that's my vibe grown woman with money because we're manifesting we're giving very much grown and sexy and paid that's what we're giving so this gives me that um i love this scent it's definitely it can definitely in my opinion be a daytime or evening scent depending on you know you can layer it or just wear it as is but it definitely is a day to night scent it's not a specific day or night um i have definitely worn this day and night so and i've definitely gotten a lot of compliments on it so the top notes for this fragrance are pear and red berries the middle notes are gardenia and frangipani the base notes are brown sugar and patchouli and another note that i can't get enough of is patchouli truly like whenever i'm like drawn to a fragrance i always think it has to be patchouli and bergamot and at this point in my like fragrance career fragrance connoisseur career if you want to call it that <laughs> i can like i can sniff out like a hound i can sniff out the bergamot the black currant and the patchouli and vanilla but vanilla is easy to sniff out but yes definitely patchouli and patchouli is what like, gives it that very musky sexy vibe so she's definitely a keeper and i'm definitely glad i did not pass her up the next fragrance in my collection is burberry her and you guys if you guys saw my last fragrance collection i love burberry my burberry blush that is my all-time favorite scent guys like it's just so girly and sexy and pretty to me so i knew that i would definitely like um uh, my burberry and like just look at the packaging the packaging is like i just love i'm a sucker for packaging like this packaging just screams very simple sleek cute and dainty like just just dainty it just pretty like i don't know but this is another very feminine very sweet very pretty scent like oh when i when i wear this scent, i just feel so beautiful like like all my scents they give me a different vibe and this scent just gives me very dainty girly like cute and prissy like i love this scent so the top notes in this scent are actually a lot um and they're all fruit so we have strawberry raspberry blackberry sour cherry black currant uh mandarin orange and lemon so a lot of fruit very a very fruity fruity scent the middle notes are violet and jasmine and the base notes are musk vanilla oak moss cashmere wood amber and patchouli again we see our favorite note patchouli definitely love this this is definitely um i would categorize this as an everyday scent but of course i don't wear it every day because i definitely do cherish the scent so we're not gonna wear her every day we're gonna wear her you know daytime but when we actually have somewhere to be something to do so definitely love her she's definitely a fave so the next fragrance in my collection is actually the sol de janeiro um bum bum um scent <laughs> you guys know the bum bum cream scent so yeah it's called uh Charos 62 and this is the body spray and and this isn't like regular body spray you guys know like bath and body works or like uh victoria's secret body spray you spray it and as soon as you spray it is as quick as you don't smell it anymore this scent when i tell you guys this scent lasts all day long and people have their opinions like i saw tasha say that you know it was it was pointless to get this and it doesn't last and you know you know she gave her opinion 
of course everybody has different body chemistry i feel like i produce a lot more oils so i guess the fragrance has more oils to stick to so that's why it lasts so much longer on me so you just need to know like your body chemistry so i definitely would suggest to try out the mini version i actually got the like all the minis in um in a set and i think the set was only 25 dollars because i wasn't paying 40 dollars for the bum bum cream when I could get all three, the spray, the body wash, and the bubble cream for $25. But I really do love this. Um, I was definitely surprised at the scent. So when I saw other people pick it up, I thought it would be a very vanilla-y scent. But it's definitely very caramelly. It's a little nutty, but it's very, like, it's just something different. It definitely puts you on an island definitely it gives you island vibes it makes me want to go to jamaica right now <laughs> but i freaking love this stuff and i got the body wash and the bum bum cream as well and these are all travel size so they're perfect to take with you on vacation so when i go to jamaica in october these are coming with me per <laughs> So the top notes of this scent are pistachio and almond. So that's where we get that very nuttiness from. But it's like a good nuttiness. Like I feel like pistachio and almonds are like the good nuts. Walnuts and peanuts, we don't really give them. We don't want it to smell like walnuts and peanuts. <laughs> the middle notes are heliotrope and jasmine. And the base notes are caramel, vanilla, salt, and sandalwood. So we definitely do have a gourmand going on in this scent and I absolutely love this I definitely do spray it every single day so you guys know like it's almost getting close to being half full so this is definitely a go-to scent I'm definitely gonna go out to Sephora and get the big version this is something I have to splurge on like I have to splurge on it and I think the big one is only like $25 but this is some this is the everyday staple like this is definitely my ch -ch and go scent and i definitely layered this so i spray this and i layer scents on top of it because who wants to smell like everybody else if the if you want to smell like the next girl you can exit this video because we're not we're not smelling like everybody else in here we like to layer we like to smell different we like to get limited editions we like to get different things over here so definitely glad i got this purchase so the next thing in my summer fragrance collection is mark jacobs perfect and guys when i smelled this all i could think about was perfect this is the perfect scent mark jacobs knew exactly what he was doing when he created this scent like it's just so perfect and oh, oh my gosh like just perfect you just fall in love with this scent like i just don't know how to describe it when i smell this scent it definitely gives me very playful girly but it's a very pretty scent as well. I feel like a lot of scents, all of my scents that have like this pinky, like kind of light pinky color and they're clear, they're very like pretty scents. Like, I don't know, like I just associate pink with pretty for some reason. Pink is my favorite color if you didn't know. But it's a very pretty scent. It's another scent that I can wear every day like the Burberry, but I try not to. I really try not to because I don't want to have to keep re-upping and like, <sighs> I need to I need to slow down but I really do love this scent and even the top is just very playful and girly and just super cute so Marc Jacobs definitely knew what he was doing so the top notes for this fragrance are rhubarb and narcissus the middle notes are almond milk which is super cool I feel like that's a very different note as well we don't really see almond milk a lot and the base notes are cashmere and cedar and it's a very simple fragrance but it just smells so amazing it's just the perfect fragrance but i feel like less is more and this is definitely that more so definitely a staple for the summertime the next fragrance in my collection is another mark jacobs fragrance and it is mark jacobs rain this was another blind buy but i'm super glad that i got it this is definitely an everyday scent this is a scent that i wear you know just going to work or just running to walmart or the grocery store like this is definitely an everyday scent um not in a bad way though like this scent is just very fresh and clean and it just gives what it needs to give i really love this scent like oh my goodness and it's not that like fresh scent like linen or like bubble bath or anything like that it's just like 
it, I don't know, it's just fresh in its own way and it's just so appealing and just such a great scent. So the top notes for this fragrance are grass, clementine, wild strawberry, and cypress. The middle notes are water, passion flower, sunflower, and white orchard. And we, I definitely do see why one of the middle notes is water. It's literally in the name rain, like the name of the fragrance is rain. So I, I get the water. <laughs> the base notes are musk, moss, teak wood, and amber and i feel like all of these fragrances together just make the perfect blend of fresh like the perfect everyday scent so i'm definitely definitely glad that i picked this up and it will definitely be in my collection for years and years to come so the very last fragrance in my summer fragrance collection is dolce and gabbana light blue for her and this was another blind buy but i really like dolce and gabbana light blue for men um everyone says that they really prefer the men's to the women's and I see why the women's is very simple and not simple in a bad way simple in a good way but the men's just gives what it needs to give like the women's just kind of smells like it needs something a little more but um it's definitely a great great fragrance um I personally would purchase the men's one for myself but I'm definitely glad I got the women's one it's the perfect everyday scent just like the Marc Jacobs Rain and I honestly truly really like this scent. It's very fresh but it, it's fresh but it gives you that little like pizzazz so it's definitely a daytime scent. Definitely like a brunch or like a daytime event if you're gonna go to like a museum or something like a daytime activity. This is definitely a go-to scent for that. So the top notes of this fragrance are Sicilian Lemon, Apple, Cedar, and Bellflower. The middle notes are Bamboo, Jasmine, and White Rose and the base notes are Cedar, Musk, and Amber. And like all the other fragrances I feel like these notes pair so well together to make just the perfect blend the perfect fragrance so I'm definitely glad that I bought this even though it was a blind buy I would suggest you guys go out and just smell both of them so the light blue for her and light blue for him and you know choose which one you like you might like you might prefer the her over the him I personally prefer the him over the her but you know to each his own but I'm definitely still glad I have this so yeah so guys that is all for today's video I hope you guys really liked my summertime fragrance collection all these fragrances are all new fragrances that I got specifically for the summertime and I'm super happy with all of my purchases like a lot of them were blind buys but they were super amazing blind buys like it seems like whenever I blind buy a fragrance I end up loving it because I look at the notes first I'm not just gonna go off of the hype so definitely if you guys want to go out and try these fragrances definitely do definitely check out the notes for yourself and see how they work with your body chemistry and just see if you like them in general but again I hope you guys enjoyed this video there will be many 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 more fragrance collections to come on my channel so if you guys love all things fragrance like I do don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on the bell for post notifications so you guys are notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see y'all in the next one bye loves